Many across the world are mourning the massacre of schoolchildren in Connecticut last Friday. But Chinese state-run media took it as an opportunity to fan the flames of nationalism. State-run CCTV provided round-the-clock in-depth coverage and analysis of the shooting, touting China's zero-tolerance gun laws. Editor of China's state-run Global Times, Hu Shijin, was also quoted saying, quote, isn't this a human rights disaster, end quote. It was a subtle stab at U.S. calls for human rights reforms in China, something the Chinese regime has continuously called an internal matter. But Chinese netizens lambasted the nationalistic reports. That's because state-run media hardly reported on a similar school tragedy that happened in central China the same day. Ming Jun stabbed 22 children and one woman at this primary school in Guangshan Prefecture, Henan Province. Luckily, there were no fatalities. Economist Han Jiguo wrote of the Henan stabbing on his Weibo account, quote, mainstream media is playing a deaf mute and the news can only be seen on Weibo. Does this attitude from mainstream media mean that the lives of Chinese children aren't worth much? End quote. Han's post has been reposted almost 150,000 times. In response to a CCTV headline report about the Connecticut shooting, one netizen writes, quote, where is CCTV's report on the 22 students stabbed in Henan? End quote. Guangshan authorities have also been criticized for their lack of response. The local government originally called for a press conference following the stabbing, but canceled it within a few hours. Local media say officials were unreachable for information. The Henan stabbings also highlighted China's poor mental health care. Initial reports say the attacker has mental disabilities and has suffered from epilepsy for two decades.